Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video we are looking at the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series, or more accurately for this figure, the New Adventures Poison Ivy figure, which is a fan favorite. She's a really cool character. Uh, I really hope we get a uh, Batman the Animated Series version of her, but for now, this one will have to do. She does look pretty good for the most part, but we're gonna look at the accessories first. She stands only about 14 and a half centimeters, which makes her only about five and a half inches. So she's definitely shorter than some of the other guys, so it's nice scaling. As far as accessories go, the first one we have is the display stand with the line art, which looks pretty cool. Comes with the acrylic upright piece, so if you want to display her with that, you can do it. She also comes with a few other accessories that are pretty unique to her. If I can not throw them around the review area. I guess I'm not going to be able to hold all three at once. She has one vial. I don't know what these particular things are called, but it's some sort of vial with supposedly red stuff in it. It looks okay. I think it would have looked better if the bottom parts were also translucent, or at least more translucent, but they still look pretty cool. And then we have a green one, and then we have a red one. So that's pretty nice. Uh, she has the uh, standard relaxed hands on her in the package, and we get four other hands. We have two gripping hands, so let me get those in my hand. These these figures have such tiny hands, it's a little tricky, but let me hold all four of them and then I'll get some focus on there for you and zoom in. So we have uh, two gripping hands and then two more hands, which are fists. So just enough. She doesn't really need a ton, but you do get those, so that's pretty cool. And that's it for the accessories. She's kind of one of the lighter figures. And she's also fairly small, which I'm assuming is on purpose so that they could fit more stuff in with the other figures, which I guess I'm okay with that. So as far as the look of this figure, the hair is obviously red, the skin is molded in this kind of off-whitish green, which is almost translucent, which actually looks really good. They did a nice job with that, and then most of the green parts are painted. Some are molded. They line up pretty nicely, though. The paintwork for the face, I think, is good for the most part. It could be a little bit better around the upper eyes, but it's good enough. It still looks all right. And then around the lower part of her suit, it does get a little sloppy, which takes away from the figure a little bit. It's not horrible. It'll look okay on a display, but it's not super clean, which is disappointing. As far as articulation goes, the head is mostly just going to look from side to side just a little bit because the hair is particularly stiff and it's not going to let it move very much. The shoulders have pretty good range of motion based on the sculpt, they're just really stiff. Let's use this one instead. Um, well, maybe they don't. I assumed they had good range of motion. I think I spoke too soon. They don't really want to go much farther than that, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, but again, just kind of like the Riddler or Penguin, she doesn't really need to move that much. This piece can be moved around up here on the bicep, so if it, you don't like the way it is, you can move it. We do get a decent hinge in the elbow. Only about 45 degrees, I guess, so it's only just barely decent, and you do get your bicep swivel out of that as well. No waist twist on her. We do get to bring the legs out pretty far, though, so that's a good thing. And they go back eh, just a little bit. As far as going to the side, we can... Wow, I don't know why everything's so stiff on her. Hers is particularly low. That hip joint is just not great. Doesn't look good. Good range of motion, but looks really freaking weird, so that's disappointing. Again, though, she'll probably just be standing there in any display, so that's okay, I suppose. Uh, the knee, it's acceptable. It's not a great range of motion, but it looks okay. Not great, though. And then for the ankles, we get another boot swivel, kind of like Batgirl. There we go. And we get a really nice ankle hinge. Goes all the way back. A little bit forward, not so far. And we get our ankle rocker. <clears throat> I wish these cats would stop trying to climb on everything. Sorry about that. I was uh, trying to stop a cat, so I was moving the figure around a little bit too much. Uh, but I know you guys like the cats, so I sometimes let them hang around. Anyway, there's the figure. She's definitely not the best in the bunch, but she's acceptable. So kind of like the uh, like the Riddler. Go ahead and pick her up if you're collecting the line. You won't be disappointed. Just don't expect her to be fantastic, and you will uh, you'll be okay. So I, I do recommend her in that capacity. Just uh, just don't get your hopes up too, too much, and you'll be just fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.